Hi there, Oklahoma speech and debate colleagues. It's Jason Paris coming to you from the set of the Cherokee sixth grade homecoming float because I'm a teacher and you know that's why I went ahead and got that master's degree. So listen, this video is for judges. If your coach is like me, then probably here's what happened. You just got a text that said you're judging in an hour from Tab Room and you've contacted the coach you're judging for and they sent you this video. So this is a how-to video, super simple for those of you with no experience. It's not that hard to judge on Tab Room. There are a lot of benefits, but I'll walk you through it and then I'll give you some ideas for best practices. So if you're judging, this video's for you. I'm going to finish it after the homecoming parade. You won't know that because of how time works on videos. Uh, I, I've got to go. I've got to go ride a float. Okay, I got my notification via text and email that I have a round to judge on tabroom.com. So I can do it at my convenience, and it's convenient now. So I've gone to tabroom.com. As always, I'm going to log in. And then immediately it takes me to the page that I need to see, which is current round, right? It's going to take me right there because I need to do this round. So uh, you can see, that's me, the judge. Round, standard oratory and OO prelims. Uh, so that's fun. The room, uh, there's no room because it's on the internet. It's a metaphorical room. Uh, the videos are on the ballot. This is what's cool. I have until Thursday at 10 p.m. to do this. So this happens to be Thursday, which means that uh, I have all day to do this. Sometimes you'll have multiple days, but it's important that you check that to make sure that you get your ballots in on time. And then here are the entries. Yeah. Now, I can start. I don't have to wait for kids. I don't have to wait for other judges. I can just go. So that's what's really great about this. And so now I'm in my room, right? I'm in the round. So let's take a look at this for a second. Number one, here are the students. Here's the speaker order. It's important that you go in speaker order. The great thing is you're, there are no conflicts. It's, it's a whole new world. You don't have to wait for kids. They're going to be there. They're, just, they're waiting for you. So go in the correct order. Then down here you can see feedback. So this is really where you're going to make your comments. You can see here you have a choice in this situation. Comments go to everyone. I don't really want my comments to go to everyone. I want them to go to specific people. So I'm going to pick the first person, Chloe. I'm going to pick Chloe. And so now I can write her ballot here. Yeah, so that's how that works. Here's what I'm going to say. Uh, Let's go, let's go to the tape. Actually, before that, you see here, there's also the option to write in the title and question. So I may come back and do that. And then just like the regular ranking sheet, here are the ranks, okay? So I'm gonna go through that and judge these. Now this is a practice contest, so these are shorter videos. I will fast forward through this when I edit the video, but here's, here's, what, here's what we're gonna do. I have set this to Chloe, because that's who I want these notes to go to. I'm going to click the video. This is very exciting. One, two, three, go. And now I'm going to go to YouTube because that's the platform that this person has chosen. So here's a helpful hint while you're judging. If you want to make notes while you're watching the video like you do in a regular tournament, that's doable. I'm going to go to Emily Barton because I have Nick Brott's permission to use his student in this demonstration and I have Emily's permission also. So. I'm going to double click on this and then I have the option of opening her video in a new window. So I'm going to do that and now I'm going to push pause. I'm pushing pause. All right. So now her video is in another window. So I can now move this wherever I need to. I'm going to let me cover myself up for a second. It's a tragedy. All right. So this is where the performance is going to be. And now I'm going to come down here and I'm going to choose Emily. So now I can move this over. I can click her video On and then February I can make comments as it happens. 2019, my elderly, nice deaf, outfit. blind, and constipated Emily. neighbor posted an article on her Facebook the wall that background challenged my morals and opinions. As a future American voter, 
that's just how you can go about it if you want to do two things at once, um, which is watch the video, watch the video while you make notes. It's hard for me to watch an entire performance and then have things that I know I want to say, so um, that would be my suggestion. And now here's the thing. I'm going to save this feedback, so this is going to go to Emily at this point, like when the round's over. So you want to be sure that you're ready to save the feedback and that it's, you know, positive and helpful and not in any way derogatory or negative. Um, so I'm making sure... Yes, and I'm saving feedback. All right, so there you have it. Now, I have watched these videos and I'm willing to rank them at this point. Here's what I'm going to do. Since Emily let me watch, now this is not how you would really do it, right? You know this. Uh, but in this case, since Emily let me use, uh, use her video as a demonstration, I'm going to give her first place. Then I'm going to, just to make this easy on myself, for, ooh, negative one, can you do that? Don't do that. Two, just to make this easy, I'm going to go in order. But, you know, don't do that in real life. Oh, I'm, I'm, no, I'm not going to. Make it, uh, make it fair. But these kids know that this is a practice tournament and therefore none of this is real. So I've ranked them, I have filled out the ballots, and I have saved them, and now I'm going to submit ballot. So I'm going to click that. Tab Room's going to give me an option to think about it a little bit, but I'm going to go with my gut and, and just stick with it. But here you can see no re-enter ballot, I can fix that stuff or yes, I can confirm it. And it is important that you go through and confirm, right? So um, it, it can be a little bit confusing because the ranks are over here on the left. We're used to on our forms putting the ranks over here on the right. And when you look at that, this is the order they spoke in, right? So there's no need to panic. Those ranks aren't accurate. These are the ranks, right? So, and they list the students in order of their ranks. Um, so there you have it. Now this is correct. I'm going to hit yes, correct. Gosh, I hope this is right. And great. It says, you may edit comments until the tournament ends. You cannot change scores once confirmed. Contact tournament officials to fix errors. So just bear those things in mind. All right, and that's how you judge in the new virtual world. Let's talk best practices for virtual judging. The good news, you can do it from the comfort of your living room. The bad news, the hopes and dreams of the entire Oklahoma speech and debate world are now solidly on your shoulders. No pressure. The first thing you need to do is check when your ballots are due. Then make a plan where you set aside time to judge your round or rounds in case you encounter unforeseen technical difficulties. Now that you've done that, enjoy this list of judging guidelines. Number one, the most important thing to keep in mind is that while a contest has gone virtual, you want to keep the judging experience as normal as possible. Number two, judge each round in its entirety. It may be tempting to watch a performance here and there when you have 10 minutes to spare throughout the day. Do not do this. Rather, watch the entire round to its completion, fill out the ballots, and rate the competitors just like you would at a normal tournament, without interruption. Number three, watch the performances in the assigned speaker order. Just because you see your favorite title later in the round doesn't mean you should skip to it. The great thing about asynchronous events is there are no conflicts and therefore no reason to watch the performances out of order. Number four. You know how sometimes at the end of a close round you find yourself thinking things like, gosh, that first actor really committed to punching himself in the face, but is a bloody nose a prop? On the other hand, the way the third actor said, night mother, really blew me away. I wish I could watch those bits again. Well, now you could, but don't. Once you've watched the performance, let it be over. Just like in the real world. Watch the video, write your ballot, then close the performer's window. Watch each performance only once. Number five. On a related note, if you're like me, which is to say you've been judging rounds since the dawn of time, you might have a pretty good idea what you want to say on the ballot one or two minutes into the performance. It might be tempting to stop the video there or to skip ahead. It is vital that you refrain from doing this. 
watch the entire performance, if for no other reason than because as an audience member, you should always want to honor the work of the performer, even when you don't see a lot of evidence of, you know, work. But more importantly, in the context of high school speech and debate, because this is an educational activity, and whatever your day job might be, in this situation, you are a crucially important educator. And finally, number seven. Under no circumstances should you download the video or copy the URL with the intention of re-watching or showing the video later. These performances are the property of the competitors and should only be viewed by you in the course of judging around. Also, you know, constructive criticism, positive reinforcement, all that jazz. And finally, finally, thank you so much for your conscientious adjudication of these rounds. We're all learning as we go, and this year will be a whole new adventure. But with your help, Oklahoma Speech and Debate will continue to be the positive and rewarding experience we all know and love. So, go judge that round.